groundbreaking year. Two former mayors in Ohio's Democratic primary, one of them could make history if elected. Nan Whaley would be the state's first woman governor. Mm -hmm. Nan Whaley directs most of her darts at Governor Mike DeWine, saying Ohio deserves better than corruption in Columbus, a reference to the first energy scandal, and that she doesn't blame Ohioans, especially in rural areas, for feeling cynical about their state government. Every single time, it's some special interest that can get to the governor or can get to the state house that gets taken care of instead of communities like mine and communities across the state. I think he's complicit in it. I mean, he's been in the system since I was 10 months old, and like the system is working for him, and so he doesn't have a problem with it. Whaley's most immediate political problem is her primary foe and fellow Democrat John Cranley. Both have been scouring the Buckeye State to become better known outside their respective regions. Here's one way Whaley is highlighting the difference. I think the biggest one is, look, I am from the working class and have stayed working class and live in a working class neighborhood. Translated, Cranley's among the rich like DeWine and they'll always make sure the wealthy come first. She wants minimum wage to start at 15 an hour, saying this needs to be a one job is enough state. Whaley senses a moment, saying Democrats do well in Ohio when people want things cleaned up. When the top utility regulator, who was the first energy lobbyist, who First Energy admitted bribing with $4 million, House was raided by the FBI, DeWine the same day said he was a great guy, appointed by Mike DeWine. Whaley hits the corruption theme hard, believing that's the path to victory in a state that hasn't been all that agreeable to Democrats in recent years. John London, WWT News Box. You can see all of our profiles of the candidates for governor and U.S. Senate on WLWT.com. Tomorrow night, we will profile Whaley's opponent in the primary, former Cincinnati Mayor John Cranley. A bill that would legalize sports betting.